Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our plan through Nakshatra series. And today we're going to be doing Rahu in Chitra Nakshatra. And what happens when Rahu, the Asura, comes into the Nakshatra of Chitra? And if you do not know where your Rahu is placed, what sign it's in, what Nakshatra it's in, all the other planetary placements, all the other astrological details, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology, Conjunction, and Aspects of the Speed of Light including all my consultations at this link. So, Rahu in the Nakshatra of Chitra. Chitra is a Nakshatra that goes from, I believe, 23 degrees to like 6 degrees and 40 minutes to of Libra. So from Virgo to uh, Libra. So it spills into Libra. The last Padha spills into Libra. So, what happens when Rahu comes here? Well, Chitra is a nakshatra, which kind of represents the shining one, the bright one. This is a nakshatra that are represented by a jewel, a gem. And this is the nakshatra that really signifies the hard work one puts in to create something of value. That's what this Chitra nakshatra is. Why? Because of the fact, if you look at a gem or any mineral, it takes a long time to form deep beneath the earth. And it's a process. It's hard work. It's pressure and time and all the right chemicals coming together to create this shiny object like, you know, diamond. So what this nakshatra purely signifies is the hard work one is here to put in to create something of value, create something which is special. Something that will rise up high and shine and bring the light into the world. So a beautiful nakshatra of people who are creators, people who are entrepreneurs. And this is why it's ruled by Mars, this nakshatra. Because Mars shows that the strength and the courage that it takes to create something of value which takes time and patience and discipline. But obviously Rahu being in Chitra Nakshatra will have duality, dual things happening. Especially when it's in Libra versus Virgo. Okay, Because see, Virgo is all about hard work, hard work. Getting down and dirty and just taking care of the diesels, creating the foundation, doing all the mechanical work. Libra is about balancing the work with creativity. So obviously in the last Padha of Chitra Nakshatra, when Rahu comes into the sign of Virgo, Rahu does excellent because see Rahu in Chitra Nakshatra not only is obsessed because Rahu is this energy that is obsessive, right? Because Rahu is just the head. It, it, the energy of the head where it consumes, consumes, consumes. It doesn't really know how to stop. So in this nakshatra, in this sign of Libra, Rahu become extremely consumed by the creation of its work. Rahu wants to be admired by people for its work. And because Rahu is something different, something against the social norms of society, something exotic, something that you have not seen. This is why, the reason why we say this is because Rahu Ketu always move backwards. Whether they're retrograde or direct or, you know, they can never be direct, but sometimes in your chart you'll see they're retrograde, sometimes you'll see they're not retrograde, but still they're moving backwards. They're never moving forward because they're going against the social norms of society. So here, because it goes against the social norms of society, a person has great amount of ability to create something unique, something exotic, something unusual in a very creative form, where a person will be very creative and will get all the admiration and fame in the world. So you'll see great, um, beautiful architectures with Rahu. Person of Rahu will create some of the most unusual, weird looking architecture because Chitra is a nakshatra of architecture, jewelry designers, real estate agents. People, this is not really about creativity. Chitra is really the nakshatra of craftsmanship. 
Because look, you got a craft, right? So if I give you a rock, that's like a raw diamond. It's not shiny, it's nothing. It just looks like a rock, okay? But it is the craftsman that crafts it to be the diamond that shines. So here, Rahu has the ability to craft something by knowing the past or by knowing the experiences of his life. So they are able to take something from someone else. Like they know, okay, this person cut it that way. Oh, that's how they're making this diamond. All right, I'm going to do it. And then Rahu adds its own unique flavor into it. And in the, especially in the Libra, Rahu not only balances or not only just becomes obsessed with work, but it wants that creative side to come out with the work. Because Libra is the most creative sign. It's, it's the Moultricon sign of Venus. At the same time, this is Libra is about, you know, trying to find balance. It's not the sign of balance. It's always up and down. That's why it represents that, you know, balancer. So here, Rahu is trying to see its work. Okay, I've done this much work. And this much of creativity is coming. Maybe I need to work a little bit more so my creativity goes up high. So the, Rahu does very be beautifully in the sign of Libra. Because Rahu loves, because see, Libra is the original seventh house of masses, fame, coming across people. Rahu loves to be in front of the masses. This is why Rahu works hard. It gets motivated. Like, wow, my work will be seen now. My creativity, my craftsmanship will be appreciated and will shine in the world. Now, in Virgo's side, Virgo is all about work, detailness, being critical of everything, making one thing look extremely perfect. And Virgo is 12th from Libra, which is what? Behind the scenes. So in Virgo itself, Rahu becomes more of a mechanical craftsman. Like people with Chitra, Ra, Nakshatra are more like great at putting like uh, information systems together. They're very good at being an actual architect behind the scenes. They're very good at making sure that the mechanics behind the scenes are working. But the thing is that Rahu feels a little bit frustrated here because of the fact it may not get appreciated. So as much as they're very good at their work, they may not get appreciated because it's the work that goes out and people see. Like imagine if this recorder looks really beautiful, right? Somehow somebody made it. Somebody came up with a design. We don't know who that person is with this design. But we love it. Like we hold the iPhone. We hold some phone. People don't really know who the person is who designed it. You know, they can Google it, but... It's the per, who, who shines? It's the iPhone. It's the CEO of the company that comes out with the phone. But one thing is, though, in Virgo, Rahu becomes extremely intelligent. Rahu just knows that this is my purpose. It's to work, work, work. So you will see great entrepreneurs with this Chitra Nakshatra in Virgo. People who you will never hear about but ha are extremely wealthy and... They're the ones who are creating different things that you are using. Because Virgo is where Mercury is exalted. Mercury is great friends with Rahu. This is where Rahu feels comfortable in the sign of Mercury. So especially with the Mercury-Rahu combination here, one becomes great at systemizing things. One becomes great at, you know, doing the actual technical work which may not be creative, which will be like like codes of, like, you know, like the codes on the computer. I, I mean, especially in my career consultations, either Rahu, Mars, Moon, and Saturn. These are the four planets that I've always seen in the Chitra, with the Chitra Nakshatra, and people were like in information technology, software engineering mechanical engineering i have found jewelers and architects before but 
especially, you know, you got to look at people where they're born. Mainly people in India will go more towards like engineering work and technical work than like being a jewelry designer, being, you know, like a great famous architect, being a great creative person. But especially with Rahu and Libra becomes a great fashion designer. Because here, Rahu is being appreciated for what it's, what it's doing. But whenever Rahu works, it creates something unique, something that is recognized. People are like, wow, this is unique. So this is a great placement for people who want to go out there and innovate and be inspired to do, you know, unique big things. And this is where this is a very, very good nakshatra for Rahu to be in. Okay. So guys, this was my analysis of Rahu and Chitra Nakshatra. If you're new in my channel, subscribe below. Again, if you want to know where your Rahu is placed, all my books, consultations, for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.